Oh, so apparently there's even more SPL going on. This is so crazy. It's about 30 a.m. I only slept three hours last night. Holy fuck, what's going on? Um, lefties versus Sabella. Sun and Moon OU. SPL, we won. Oh, lefties gets the protect, gets critted. Oh, they did nothing though. Zemov, uh, Zemov said obviously we need to protect. Was to land up on the super power, yeah. Lefties played that well, but he got critted. So that has uh, like an RS team with a tap of Bulu base. Okay, yeah, Greninja was bad in RS, I guess. Get, uh, you turn out. Feeny's probably gonna go for Nature's Madness here. I can just go for Surf. Uh, I could see lefties. Uh... What does run uh, Stone Edge in the last slot? So yeah, I wouldn't run the Risk Hazard there if I was lefties. Because I better just fire the Super Power Weakness instead of Steel. I can get beyond that play. Um, Sabella can win with Volcarona. He needs to remove the Zard and I guess the Terrakion might be Scarf. I assume the, uh, the land was the Rocker and the Terrakion is the Scarf or Bandit. That's probably Scarf Terrakion, like, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. He needs some sort of speed control. He'll leech seat so still uh, hitting that, uh, Hitting that Volcarona. Fire Blasting that. That did nothing. To reckon eating it up for lunch. Oh yeah, okay, it's leftovers Volcarona. I don't know if it's that bulky spread that Jim would use. Or if it's make special tech. That's okay. Actually, that's probably Bandit. Is that Bandit? 33% to Landers. I don't know if it's Max Defense Lander. It's Helmet. Like, I'm really confused. I, the Blunder said it's Choice Band 2. But I'm like, really confused. Like 33% is too much damage for Scarf to Reckon for sure. Maybe it's like Rock Plate or something. Or maybe it's Z-Move. But yeah, Z-Move is Scarf damage. Maybe it's Z-Move Element. Mineral Bandit. Yeah, Choice Bandit is 33 to 39. There's some uh, Stone Edge with Landris. Oh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Wait, Landris Egent? Oh yeah, Terrakium got up with Thrawn. Uh, I kinda like Sabella's like, playstyle here. But... The Cell is still a little bit of power. Do you do you uh, go for protect here if you left these? Risk the Bulu SDing up again. I think Sabella has to attack. So far it's 33 last time, so this is a roll to kill. I would assume the LC is around 66, because Shadow likes to run down. Oh, okay, this is a tough shot for lefties. Um, I mean, Lefty's weakening the Landros with his Terrakion. It's pretty good for him if he's DD Zardex. Zardex kind of runs through Sabella's team. Sabella might be uh, Scarf Lari. But if he's not Scarf Lari, like, Zardex just runs through for, if, with a Dragon Dance. Like, it gets a Dragon Dance on Volcarona. Or on Scizor, and then it just runs through. I think lefties wins this with Zard in the late or mid game. But we, we shall see, I should not speak too soon. This is looking like an interesting fight for sure. Dude, I, I was literally just... Uh, I was working on a thumbnail for my other SPL matches that I, that I recorded. And like I didn't even finish my thumbnail, I'll check uh, smoke tours and this game <laughs> popped up crazy. Like these people don't give me time to breathe. I could oh, okay he doesn't get the roll, he gets the roll, roll low roll there, like a super low roll. 
and the type of bullet goes down. Oh yeah, Lefty is his fist of cell steel as he gets the defense boost. Um, doesn't Sabella like doesn't Zard come in for free on Volcarona if it's not HP rock? Okay, actually, I don't know if Lefty should bring the Zard hard in because it's like the win con. Last time you were on Volcarona, uh, why, why would you, why would he quiver then? So I don't get it. Why would he? Why wouldn't he fire blast there? Ooh, we quiver danced again. Ooh, lefties try to stun. Try to stun. Okay, maybe if it's HP Rock will Corona. This is this is pretty scary now. Definitely takes a huge chunk. I guess the lefties and the this can. Nah, 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 if it's a Giga Rain, oh, he's trying to pivot around on the Giga Rain and the Stealer. That did 8, that's funny, it's 4 times resisted. He protects, does, does he have Roost? No, he doesn't have Roost. Assume his last move is like, actually, yeah, it's either Roost or, nah, it's probably some hidden power. Either HP ground, the lefty's is pretty good as well. Like, I think it's a bit dangerous, dangerous what he's doing, because like, his team is getting weakened, but uh, I'm pretty sure Lefties has his game plan. As well, okay, he just sucks up the landers. Um, he's probably banned quick attack to Rakion if he brings this out. Right? What? Why else would he bring this out? He would just die to Giga Drain if he's not like quick attack. Unless he knows this is bulky Volcarona and he outspeeds it. Even with two quiver dances, but I don't think I don't think that's the case. Maybe I said this is most definitely HP Rock Volcarona. I mean the way Sabella is playing this Volcarona I think it could be HP Rock for sure. Because why else would he set up when there's a Zard? Lefties is also not bringing a Zard in immediately, which is, which is smart for sure. Because Zard is like his wooden corner. I think Lefties had to quick attack there. Yeah, he, he quick attacked for sure. Like, you cannot afford to play with that threat. Sabella took advantage of that and uh, gets the momentum. By, uh, yeah, he gets some helmet damage on the Terrakion and gets a free U turn. He has to turn back to SF3. On the type of Fini. <laughs> and Volcarona is just back in. Hmm, I don't know if I agree with that play. Gigarin probably doesn't kill from there, right? Okay, Lefties got hard to rack you. I don't know if Gigarin would have killed the Fini. I guess Lefties is trying to um like maybe double the type of the type of Fini in on on a double switch. Uh, to get more lefty so we can check the Greninja better. So that's maybe why he kept it. So, uh, did the Greninja even enter the field yet? I don't think it did, right? Let me see. Greninja U turn. No, never mind. Greninja come back, Lando U turn. Uh, yeah, okay, Greninja switched out to the one was a Scarf Lando, I assume. No, no. Not Scarf Land, I think that's Rock's Land from lefty side. But Sabella uh, was scouting for, uh, for scouting for Scarf. Yeah, I think pretty sure the Terrigen is. I'm still not sure if it's banned. Like that is a good chunk. If I knew the Scissor spread, I could tell. Like if it's like, I think it's like, HP uh, defense invested Scissor for sure. With Bandit, like, I thought Bandit Edge would like do 82 right versus 90. And only at 67. Lefty's playing is really smart and gets up his rocks now. Got the Pharaoh on the bullet punch. And knowing that the Terrakin is such a threat. Man, Sabella would have received that, that would have also been like a really good play. But yeah. So while I was playing it safe there. 
So this is kind of a tough position for lefties. He doesn't have any switch ins if it's really HP Rock or Corona. So like I don't know if you can afford to take the Terek. Actually the, the Terekian doesn't do that much. Like it would it would do something if it would be in with Volcarona without the equivalence up. Or it would do something if it would be in with Slando, I guess. It would get a kill with Edge, but versus Gren, versus Laddie and versus Scissor basically doesn't do anything. Maybe you can sack the Turek here. If not, you can sack the Feeny or but then if it's Specs Greninja that might become really scary. But Affini is on, only at 34%, so that's not checking Specs Greninja that well anyway. Like, I don't even know if it can switch in anymore, maybe once. Maybe, if it's the death. Maybe uh, Dark Post is like 20, maybe the one is 15, I don't know, roll on that. So I uh, assume Lefty's stinking here. No, that's no, never answered, but Sabella only has one has one or two things. His time is going down. Yeah, the chat is saying, like uh, as I said earlier, Zardidis and Volcarona and wins is what I said earlier. And but ABR is still saying uh, this is some HP rock shit <laughs> for Scissor Bulu. Wait. What? HP Rock? What is this? Oh, HP Rock for Corona. So Scizor and Bulu. So a Volcarona Lewis is art for Scizor and Bulu is what ABR is saying. And that would actually make a lot of sense. Like, Damn, ABR has like a golden eye. I didn't think about that. HP Rock removes those threats. Okay, his lefties actually went hard on the Zard. Hard Zard Rhymerch. Just kidding, what am I even talking about? <laughs> yeah, I, I like this game a lot, to be honest. There were like a few games that I didn't like earlier. Like, you just drain Claw here, right? If you left these. The lander doesn't switch in. I guess you can flat with two, but that takes more recoil. I guess drain Claw might not kill the landers if it's Jolly Zard. And then you have to take another helmet round, and maybe you take less recoil uh, if you flare blitz immediately if you're lefties. If, uh, if Sabella would take Lando here. This, this game's pretty exciting, like, all the games should have been like this. Oh, Sabella's time is down to 40 seconds. <laughs> Lefty is at 210 seconds. This man is taking his time, good god. Yeah, he, he sacks off the land. Or do we see like the Furbits or the Dragon Claws? Like, my only question. We see Dragon Knights. Okay, and then that also makes sense. I guess it makes sense. He only takes one helm around and he gets up the speed boost, so. It's Scarf Lottie, I think, yeah, that's what I said earlier, right? That it could be Scarf Lottie, because Zard just runs through if it's not. Like, Zard runs through after Dragon Dance. Kind of. I don't know how much HP Rock Volcarona would have done, if it's even HP Rock. I'm not sure if maybe I was correct with his, like, prediction. But I, I really like the idea, actually, of HP Rock Volcarona removing. Uh, Zard for Bulu and Scissor. I kinda wanna build around that now. <laughs> Scarf Psychic, okay. Dude, like, Sabella's not making any plays. He's like playing. Yeah, like now. He's playing the passive like Black Oblivion mentioned in the chat. And he has the sake of a Scissor here, so it's like. Like Sabella's down 3-5 and he also has rocks on his side and his Volcarona basically dies. So it's at 7% if it comes in, so it's basically like not gonna do much. As long as Lefties has the Pharaoh and the Cell Stealer, like um, he also has Fini as a sack, like
Uh, I don't see lefties losing at all. Lefties is pretty solid. Okay, I didn't mention like to to like talk down on Sabella. Like he's obviously a great player too. But uh, like I think that was kind of obvious that lefties wouldn't sack his Zard. So so he's HP five Greninja. Lefties scouts for that. Is he trying to sack his Zard? He sacked his Zard. Shouldn't he have sacked uh, something else? Maybe because Zard couldn't a Zard have taken a harder pump? Why is the chat saying this Greninja is a win? I'm really confused. Could the Zard have taken? Actually, never mind. The Zard was at 44. It couldn't have have taken a harder pump. So this is the fifth of wait. Why am I talking down on this man? So, but this Greninja might win. Like maybe this maybe this man had the game plan. <laughs> he had all the he had the perfect game plan. I just didn't realize it. This will probably happen a lot when I'm tired and I don't really like. <laughs> well, actually, I I don't know the sets from the players, so I obviously cannot like know all the time what their exact thought process is. I thought the lefties like won won this game like a while ago, but should never speak too soon. How long has this game been? Sixteen minutes, thirty seconds. Does he go for each seed? Oh, he goes for heavy slam. So, he, um, lefties can go pro for project scouting what the lady locks itself into, cause. What can Sabella really do? Sabella can go for default, oh. I mean the Stealth Rocker in Ferrothorn is still alive. But if Lefties was go would go Ferro now to get rocks back up, Le Sabella would get a switch into Mag uh, not Magnism, into Volcarona. And yeah, Lefties doesn't have switch-ins anymore for Volcarona, but I really like this play, bringing Infini to get it more healthy, because you know the Lottie is locked in the defog, and yeah, you can get lefties back, like multiple rounds of lefties, because the Lottie has to switch out here unless uh, Sabella wants to sack it off. Now you can click nature's matters if you predict Volcarona. Nah, if you predict Volcarona, you click a water. Nah, he doesn't have a water move, right? Actually, yeah, he surfs. Never mind. Alright, so yeah, sorry, shot moon last. So he would have Defog on this because he has a Zard, he needs Defog for sure. And probably Taunt. But he, he doesn't have Moonblast. Yeah, this is why he's max defense uh, set of steel. I like Lefty's team. Because uh, usually you run the Moonblast on Fini. For those dragons like uh, Dragonite, Salamence with the disease, Supersonic, Sky Strike, but Celesteela. Since his max defense can kind of deal with those. Like, I'm guessing that's why he doesn't have Moonblast. I kinda wanna steal Lefty's teams, man, these teams are cool. Okay, so Bella stays in. And since Lefty's only, like, he went for serve, Lefty's can now go for Ninja's Madness to get more leftovers. Oh, okay, I thought he would go for Ninja's Madness to get more leftovers, that would've been funny. Can a Volcarona live uh, a surf if it credences up or does the good ninja have Ganga Shot is the question. It already has a HP fire, it has Pharaoh, it has I think it shot Ice Beam HP fire. And I am pretty sure it has to have Hydro Pump and then It could be Ganga Shot but probably doesn't have Yako, he doesn't he doesn't go out to it. It could be Spikes Good Ninja. Nishi Spikes wouldn't make too much sense because he has a Volcarona. Yeah, okay, Volcarona can live a serve after Crivet and up. I don't really like, uh, when you have a Volcarona, you need a reliable defog hunt. Scarf Lady is not a reliable defog in my opinion, but that's just me. But nonetheless, I still like his team. Like, from first look, it looks pretty clean. Okay, lefties go with hard, sack the Pharaoh, hard Pharaoh. And, okay, Terragon is back, clicks quick attack here. Yeah, Quick Attack gets a kill basically because pretty sure Greninja would get to a KO'd. And 
pretty uh, like table finish will win this game for lefties. Like I don't see how Sabala can get out of the situation. Yeah, he doesn't get the burn, but that, that didn't matter. Like Fini wins at this point if he's not going right. Quick attack does a clean thirty-two. Like even Celestia loves the hit. Uh, yeah, lefties doesn't risk the gunk shot, the potential gunk shot. Nah, I guess he could have gone Fini first. He would have found out. Like I don't think it made a difference what lefties did here at the end. Lefty said, "Please don't." What do you mean? Please don't freeze. Okay, he said, "GG." Yeah, he goes for the heavy slam. Yeah, I kind of like this. Oof, how they played this. But yeah, I'm already got, uh, tired, guys. Uh, I'm gonna make this shorter. 21 minutes. Well, so um, if you like how I'm pumping out these FBL games, smash that uh, like button. Dokuch signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, my friends.